Hi guys, it's Charlie Tango1994 back with another YouTube video. Um, really, really pleased to be showing you this one. Uh, been looking for um, some Midland rigs for the last week or so, and uh, this is a, a really fine example of one of the 80s uh, Midland CBs that were doing the rounds, and these are kind of popular. Um, mainly because of their styling to be honest a bit different to the standard rigs that were around about at that, at that time um and sort of famed mainly for their sort of green green and what would you say elephant gray finish on them um this is the midland 4001 um, part of the precision series and there's a range of of midland cbs that all look very similar to this um as i say this is the 4001 um and it's a lovely looking CB. Uh, I certainly would have been very proud to have had one of these um, as a as a teenager or whatever. Um, simply, as I say, because of the styling. Um, what you get with these these Precision Series uh, Midland radios is a sort of green cast on the signal meter. It's like a a, a green uh, well green cast, as I say. Um, Gives it a sort of greeny glow rather than white, which is what we've seen with with a lot of the other rigs that we've looked at, um, and just a really nice finish, a really nice build on the buttons and on the on the dials, um, and you know this is this is the reason that they're as popular as they are. Um, the four double oh one, a bunch of other switches across the top. Uh, you've got local and, and long distance low DX. Uh, there's a dimmer switch on this one, so again, night driving, that sort of thing. Um, you can uh, you can dim things down. I suppose it also conserves battery if you if you're running it portable. Um, and we've seen it on other rigs, but Midland are more famed for having um, green LEDs on their number display uh, over red. Really, uh, I've also seen them in blue, but you know the green matches kind of the case and the, the the microphone and everything so really really nice rig um i have to say having and there was someone on there but having had a listen and doing some tests the audio on it is lovely um there isn't really i don't think a tone control on this uh but it really sounds nice um listen to the signals that were coming in earlier better than some of the other rigs that, that, that we've been looking at. Absolutely noticeable. Um, other things to say, not much. With the 40, uh, 4001, um, you've got the RF gain and the mic gain, which I'm gonna show you another Midland radio after this one, um, which is the 2001, and doesn't have the RF gain or the, uh, the mic gain. So, this too will go up on eBay. Going to ask a decent amount of money for this again because it's. I don't know if I can show you on camera, but it is in really nice order. There's a couple of tiny little marks up here, and a bit of a bit of marking just there. But other than that, I mean, the dials are clear. It is. It is a really really nice rig. So get this up on eBay. Um, ask a decent whack of money for it. To be honest, probably. 35 quid something like that plus postage and uh, we'll see how we go with it. Alright guys I'll be back to you soon with another YouTube video. Cheers